Clash of Champions Gold Rush airs from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida tonight inside the WWE Thunderdome once again. It's an interesting pay-per-view, I think, and instead of doing the usual predictions video that we would do on the channel, we're going to do something a little bit different here in that we're just going to do a couple of deep dive previews on some of the big matches for the show. So they're going to be coming out throughout today here on the YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to keep your eye out for them. Specifically, though, for this video, we're going to talk about the WWE Universal Championship match. I would probably say the most anticipated match of this show. It is, of course, WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns defending the Universal Championship in this reign, reign for reigns, in the first in his first title defense against his cousin Jay Uso. Of course, Paul Heyman is in the corner of the big dog as well. And let's be honest, I think if you look at WWE right now, and I think if you look at the the golf in quality between the product on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Friday Night SmackDown at the moment is just the program. It really, really is. It's just an all-better, all-round better wrestling program to watch. The match quality is better on there. The quality of story is better on there. Everything flows nicely. There is logic in the storylines. All of it is absolutely fantastic. It's gripping television. Some of the Multiple storylines that are playing out on that show right now are absolutely brilliant. And I think a main driving force behind that is this Roman Reigns, Jey Uso feud. Specifically, though, the Roman Reigns return. You can trace it back all the way to the end of SummerSlam. Once Roman Reigns came back at SummerSlam, things picked up. And a lot of people can say whatever they want about Roman Reigns. And they certainly have in the past of if he's deserving or not for the spot. He was being forced into it, shoved down people's throats, etc., but you can't deny the quality and you can't deny the talent and you certainly can't deny the big star that Roman Reigns is. And in the last couple of months or six weeks or so since Roman Reigns returned, it's just it's just evidence of that. It's just absolute evidence of that, that as soon as he came back, things have got better. <laughs> things have got better. You can only that, that's the obvious way of saying it. And this new persona, this new character, this new attitude of Roman Reigns has just been absolutely brilliant. And it's been the Roman Reigns, let's be honest, that fans have been crying out to see for a very, very long time. The heel Roman Reigns, the darker Roman Reigns, just the more real, the more real Roman Reigns. That's what I, I look at it at, really, is people can debate whether it's a heel turn, whether it's this, whether it's that. And I think in the grand scheme of things, you can consider it a heel turn because it probably is. He's going up against baby faces and you look at his future opponents further down the line in the likes of The Fiend and Bray Wyatt. They are baby faces now. So by default, that makes Roman Reigns a heel. But I, the way I look at it is it's just Roman Reigns being Roman Reigns. It's Roman Reigns being real. It's being more closer to Joe than Roman Reigns. I think that's the way to look at it here. So I think the Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso storyline and feud has kind of been something that's taken a lot of people by surprise. I mean, you have to look back on it coming out of payback when Roman Reigns captured the Universal Championship for the second time in his career. The reports were, and a lot of people were saying, okay, this begins the Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt storyline, Roman Reigns versus The Fiend. This is what we're going to get. The Fiend is now a babyface. Bray Wyatt is now a babyface. Roman Reigns is a heel. And we're going to have these two guys feuding as The Fiend tries to win back what he believes is rightfully his. And Bray Wyatt tries to win back his favorite toy. I think a lot of people thought that's where we were going with it. So when we had that fatal four-way on SmackDown to determine the number one contender for the Universal Championship, and it didn't have Bray Wyatt in, I think a lot of people thought, okay, they're going somewhere slightly different first. Originally, it had King Corbin... Sheamus, Matt Riddle and Big E. Big E was taken out and you had Jey Uso come in. And you also have to remember about this that technically, technically, and I know they've said on recent editions of SmackDown, oh, it was Roman Reigns that lobbied to have Jey Uso in there. And then Roman Reigns goes, no, 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 it was all Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, the special counsel to the tribal chief, was the one that wanted to have Jey Uso in that match. But regardless, it was either Reigns or Heyman that got Jey Uso into that match. Now, if you look at it from a Paul Heyman point of view, and you can really dig quite deep into this, you could say Paul Heyman looked at this situation and said, how do I get Roman Reigns to fully convert to the dark side? I'm, I've been discussing these things and 
you talk about taking opportunities away from him. He had to step away and they took his Universal Championship opportunity away from him at WrestleMania. Through sickness, they took things away from him. And this is all about getting back what's rightfully his, getting back to the top of the tree. And, and it's difficult because his rationale is actually so great. His rationale is so great because it's so true as, as an all good heel should be. So Paul Heyman or Roman Reigns, or whatever, they, they maybe put Jey Uso in there to perfectly... I don't know, consolidate, confirm this heel turn for Roman Reigns. That's why I think it's so great. And that's why I think this is such a great feud. And we'll get into the promos and we'll get into the story that they've been telling in a second. But for me, at the moment, I still wouldn't classify. In my in my mind, Roman Reigns is a heel and he is going to be a heel. But he hasn't taken for me that definitive step as to, okay, this guy is legit a bad guy. He is a bad, bad man. He hasn't taken that yet which I think is really interesting. He's got the demeanor of a heel. The way he talks is like a heel, the way that he's much more reserved and much more focused and he's not smiling and high-fiving any of that stuff, but he's still not fully, I would say, a heel. Even by association with Paul Heyman, he's not officially a heel yet in my eyes. And how do you cement that? How do you take Roman Reigns from kind of being like he's got a different attitude he's got a more serious tone but he's not quite there just yet how do you do that you have him destroy his own blood you have him destroy a member of his family and I think that's what we're going to get at Clash of Champions we certainly had it basically teased at the end of Smackdown this past week so I do want to talk about the promos because I think that's been the real real shining light of this story now as I mentioned when people initially found out that Jey Uso was going to be the number one contender for the Universal Championship. I think a lot of people, maybe myself included, I'm not willing to, I'm willing to rather to criticize myself in this, thought, can, can Jey Uso really step up to the plate here? He's a tag team guy with his brother Jimmy, one of the best tag teams arguably in WWE history, certainly over the last five or six years. You can't discredit that. Their work as a tag team has been fantastic in WWE, but I think a lot of people thought, can Jey Uso really, can he do it? Can he go to the next level? And in this feud with Roman Reigns, my word, Jey Uso can go to the next level. There is no doubt Jey Uso can go to the next level. His mic work, his facials, his reactions, his storytelling has just been absolutely superb. Absolutely superb. And the way they've been playing this storyline is that Roman Reigns is, is almost doing a good thing. For Jey Uso, he's called himself the tribal chief. He's not only the leader of the WWE, but he's the leader of the entire sort of Samoan dynasty that's currently in WWE and the Samoan family that goes back generations in WWE. He's the leader of that now. Him being universal champion, he's not only providing for his own family, for his wife and his kids, but he's also providing for his niece and his nephews and Jey Uso's kids and Jey Uso himself. And I think that's very interesting the way they've played that out and. As I mentioned, with Paul Heyman and Raymond Reigns getting Jey Uso this opportunity, a clash of champions, they framed it as, we've got you a big payday. This is going to be the most money you've ever made in your life. We've done you a good thing here. So stay in your lane. Take the beating. I'm going to beat you Sunday at Clash of Champions. I'm going to destroy you like I always have. As Even as kids, I was the leader and I still am the leader. So take your beating on Sunday and get a nice check. But don't get out of your lane kind of deal. Stay in your lane. Support for Wrestle News 365 is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Now, Manscaped, for all of my UK fans out there, Manscaped just launched in the UK. Over here in the United Kingdom, we have gone for years and years and years without using the right tools for the job. But now you can be one of the first men in England to experience their life-changing products. But it's not just limited to all of the great fans over here in the UK. This offer goes worldwide. So all of my friends over in America and around the world that are listening to this, this offer still does apply for you. You can still use our code. Uh, but I've got to tell you a quick story first. Now, there have been so many times, right? I'm a guy. Uh, you gotta, you got to groom down there, fellas, right? That's the most important thing. you got to keep yourself trimmed. you got to keep yourself proper. And uh, a lot of the time, I've been guilty of this, of using the wrong tools for the job. I've had incidences, I'm not afraid to say it, where things have been nicked, snagged, or in fact cut down there because I wasn't being careful enough and using the right 
equipment. Now that just shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. You don't want to be worrying about cutting yourself down there. Do you know how painful that is? I can tell you, it hurts quite a lot. And I wish and hope to God it never happens to me again. And it won't happen to me ever again because I'm using Manscaped products. That's why Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. The Manscaped engineering team has perfected the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created. Big statement, but it's absolutely true. They have just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 in the UK. It's also available around the world as well. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. So those cuts and snags that I was telling you about before are a thing of the past. And let me tell you, when I tell you this is premium, I mean premium. The battery will last up to 90 minutes so you can get a longer, perfect shave. And not only that, you don't want to be cutting yourself and trimming yourself in the, all over the bathroom, getting hair all over the place. That's just disgusting. The lawnmower has a waterproof technology that allows you to groom in the shower, so no more mess. And one of the coolest features, one of my favorite features about the lawnmower is the LED light which illuminates grooming areas for a closer and more precise trimming experience. So you can shave longer, you can shave more precisely, and you can shave in the shower. What more do I need to tell you? They've also upgraded to a 7000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology and let's not forget about the charging stand. You can show off your mower loud and proud because this intelligently designed stand is a convenient charging dock powered by USB. So if you are listening to me speak right now, I want you to experience it firsthand for yourself. Let's get that bush to tush clean and you can get 20% off and free shipping. Yeah, you heard me right there. 20% off and free shipping. All you have to do is use the code 365wrestle at manscaped.com. Make your testies their besties. That's 20% off and free shipping. Not only are you getting 20% off, you're getting free shipping as well with the code 365wrestle at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code 365wrestle. Your balls will thank you. And... The way that Roman has spoken in these promos, he's, as I mentioned, not fully healed, but he's talking down to his cousin. You're you're the runt, I'm the leader, okay? And I think that's been fantastic that in his eyes, in his eyes, Roman Reigns, you can tell that there is this big heel explosion coming very, very soon. A couple of weeks ago on SmackDown, they had that Samoan street fight, which Reigns and Jey Uso win. After the match, Jey Uso, Roman Reigns, they're hugging, they're playing around, and you see a little bit of the old... Roman Reigns' character. He's smiling, he's high-fiving. Then the moment Jey Uso leaves the ring and he's walking up the ramp, he's got his back turned to Roman Reigns. Reigns has one look at Paul Heyman and Paul Heyman sort of looks at Roman Reigns. And this storytelling here I thought was fantastic. Sometimes you don't need words. You just need a look. You just need emotion. And that's exactly what they did here. Reigns looks at Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman looks at Reigns. And suddenly, without saying a word, Paul Heyman says to Roman Reigns, okay, that smiling, high-fiving thing, that was the old you. Look where the old you got you. The old you got you on the sidelines and the company treated you badly when you needed them the most. And just by that look, Roman Reigns switches from the old him to the new him. Okay, this is the new him that he needs to be. And I thought that was fantastic storytelling. And the look that Roman Reigns had on his face was just brilliant. And this week on SmackDown, they addressed that. They addressed the look. And Jey Uso cut... I mean, it has to be the promo of his career. It absolutely has to be the promo of his career. I mentioned this on social media. For me, the which one are you promo is going to be something that sticks with him his entire career now. That was a standout moment. Everyone is going to remember the which one are you promo that he said essentially that everyone's always talked about Roman Reigns being the leader the big dog and everyone knows who Roman Reigns is but when it comes to him it's which one are you because obviously he's twins with his brother Jimmy and when he said the which one are you line his voice cracked you could tell legitimately he was getting emotional and he said forget about taking a beat and forget about making getting the biggest payday of my career I'm going to leave Clash of Champions as a universal champion I'm going to make the family proud I'm going to prove that I'm not just a little guy I'm just not one of the twins I'm going to prove that I'm Jey Uso I'm not Jimmy I'm not Roman Reigns I'm better I'm my own man and it was just fantastic it was a fantastic promo by Jimmy Uso so Roman Reigns and 
uh, Paul Heyman they leave. Roman Reigns looks pretty PO'd that his underling cousin had the gall to talk to him that way after everything that Roman Reigns has tried to do for him and getting him this Universal Championship opportunity. And then Jey Uso walks up the ramp, he turns around, looks at the Thunderdome and bang, he gets attacked by Roman Reigns. And then Roman Reigns just, he just cut a promo on this kid saying, you're going to come Sunday, you're going to take the money, you're going to take the butt whooping, I'm going to leave Universal Champion, I'm the Tribal Chief, don't disrespect me that way. It's the Roman Reigns everyone wanted. It's the Roman, it's the Roman Reigns everyone wanted, and it's the Roman Reigns that I think everyone knew they could do, especially Roman Reigns. And you got to remember, when you go back and think about Roman Reigns over these last few years, a few years, maybe even longer than that, going back, what, 2014, 2015, Roman Reigns has always wanted to be this guy because it's Joe. It's it's Roman. It's the real Roman Reigns. And in professional wrestling, if you're allowed to be who you really are, if you're allowed just to be yourself, dial it up a few notches, that's where the money is. And the character that Roman Reigns has played over the years on WWE TV, of course, has got him to major success. He's been in, was it five WrestleMania main events, something like that. WWE champion, universal champion. He was the guy. He beat The Undertaker in the main event of WrestleMania 33 when we thought The Undertaker had retired. It's got him success. But realistically, that probably wasn't Roman Reigns. That wasn't that wasn't close to Joe. You talk, you see, you you see these interviews with Roman Reigns, whether they're media interviews or whatever, and you see these videos of Roman Reigns backstage and interacting with people. He's a cool guy. He is a very cool guy. You watch, you go, I like that guy. That guy's badass. And then you see that Roman Reigns character on TV over the last few years and you go, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel like that's him. And this recent uh, allegiance, alliance with Paul Heyman, this darker tone, the promos that he's been cutting, the looks he's been given, the reactions, all of it has just been absolutely fantastic. And credit to Jey Uso because he's been a guy that stepped up to the plate. He absolutely has stepped up to the plate. Now, let's be realistic here. I would be absolutely floored if Jey Uso won the Universal Championship here. He isn't going to win the Universal Championship here. That's just not going to happen. But I think a positive thing, there's numerous positive things out of this feud. One, it's Roman Reigns, this heel turn is working because every segment he's been in since he returned at SummerSlam has been an A+. I cannot fault anything that Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman have done since they've returned at SummerSlam. You, you can't. You can't fault it. Everything has been perfection. Jey Uso, he's proved not only can he hang in a main event level program, he can hang as a singles. So this idea, which I hate, that if you're in a tag team and one of your tag team partners get injured you have to be off tv i don't think that's i don't think that's the right thing to do i think if you can use that time to develop the other star as a single star that when the tag team comes back you've got a more established star in that tag team it, it just makes sense so this is certainly established jay Uso as he can carry any program he can compete in any program this story is real there's nothing manufactured here this is family and they've tapped into those th family themes and these family storylines. The WWE Chronicle that has aired with Jey Uso on the WWE Network. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it because it's brilliant. It just extends this storyline that we've seen on TV about the pressures of family, trying to be a leader in the family, Uncle Joe being the family leader. Can Jey Uso really overcome the golden child, the person that leads the family, the tribal chief, all of that, it's just fantastic. It's just absolutely fantastic. And they've really knocked it out of the park for this storyline, which was a storyline that a lot of people didn't see coming. And I think initially was a storyline just to progress this Roman Reigns heel turn. This is, as I mentioned earlier, it's the perfect storyline for Roman Reigns right now. He is a heel, but it, the heel... It's slowly developing in him. It's not an overnight bang. I'm a real, real bad guy now. I've changed. It's I've come back with a different attitude. There's something simmering underneath in Roman Reigns. The alliance of Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is getting in his ear. This is the Roman Reigns that we need to see right now. And it's the Roman Reigns that he wants to be right now. But you cement it. You solidify it with this match against Jey Uso at Clash of Champions. Tonight, I want Roman Reigns to destroy Jey Uso. I want it to be uncomfortable, and I think this is the way that they will do it. I want it to be uncomfortable. I want Roman Reigns to beat the hell out of him. I want Jey Uso to fight and fight and fight, 
until Rome reigns who has to almost physically put down his own blood. And we have this great back and forth match. You know it's going to be great. Their blood, their family. These two guys, the, the person that probably knows Jey Uso better than Roman Reigns is only his twin brother, Jimmy. Roman Reigns, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, they grew up together. They're basically brothers. They're basically brothers. So you, the chemistry in this match is going to be fantastic. They're going to know everything. You know they're going to want to put on a show. And I think the best way to book this match with the storyline that's gone into it is have Roman Reigns beat the hell out of Jay, but he keeps fighting, keeps fighting, nearly gets him on a couple of occasions. Eventually, Roman's just too much to him for him. After the match, he picks up Jey Uso, they embrace in the ring. You think, well, this friction's over. It was, you know, Universal Championship got into the mix, family pride got into the mix, but the bells rang now, it's over. Roman Reigns is still the champion. Jey Uso, you'll always be my family. And then bang, after the match, Roman Reigns just destroys this guy. And then it's real, real heel Roman Reigns. Real heel Roman Reigns. Now, Roman also teased previously about maybe a gear change and a music change. That could happen tonight. Um, I think it either happens tonight or, like I said, if they shoot the angle whereby Roman absolutely destroys Jey Uso after the match, maybe we see it on the following SmackDown or something like that. But absolutely could happen tonight. And it's overdue. It's overdue. Characters, you know me, I've said this a million times on this channel, characters need to evolve. Music needs to change. Looks need to change. Characters need to change. That's the whole point in... That's not just professional wrestling. Obviously, the, the examples are there in professional wrestling of it, how needed it is. Jericho, Undertaker, even like the Triple H... All of those guys have had to evolve. Hulk Hogan, all of them had to evolve eventually. And Roman Reigns will not be uh, any different from that. But I just, I'm just i really looking forward to this one. I think this is the one that everyone's looking forward to the most tonight. And I can't wait to see it. Uh, as I said, I think Roman Reigns will win. I think that's pretty obvious. And people will say that's a predictable outcome. Predictable isn't always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing if the story's good. If the story sucks and it's a, a really predictable story... And you go, it's nothing. It's not doing anything for you. Then of course, predictable is a bad thing. But if the story's great, then then that's fine. You know, Star Wars, the last Star Wars, everyone thought Darth Vader was gonna turn back to the to the good side. It was predictable, but it didn't change it to be any great. Avengers, Endgame, everyone knew that the Avengers were gonna come back. You kidding me? We're gonna have all the big stars in the Avengers get you know dusted off. Everyone knew they were gonna come back, but the way they did it and the story was fantastic. Everyone knows Roman Reigns is going to destroy Jey Uso at some point. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows Roman Reigns is going to win tonight. It doesn't make it any less good. So I'm really excited for it tonight. But what are your thoughts? What are your predictions for Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso tonight for the Universal Championship? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll be sure to respond and reply to all of your comments. Really enjoy interacting with you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, smash a like on the like button as well. Really just helps out here on YouTube. Go up the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. And most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Wrestle News 365. We're only a couple of subscribers away from 900. And then we're only 100 away from 1,000 subscribers, that magic 1,000 subscriber mark. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.